Hey everybody. So I've got a project coming up where I am doing a bunch of glue ups with oak, um, with stair treads and risers. And so I need to, um, glue up these anywhere from eight to 12 inch, uh, pieces that are about four feet long. And I need to do a bunch of them. So I've got, I think, Actually, the risers will be cut out of single boards. We will get those out, but I need those to be about eight inches. So they're really, I need to hand pick those out of there because my, all my stock comes that way. But we've got 11 inch pieces for the treads and we're not going to be able to pick out, um, there's not places where I can go pick out, you know, 12 inch oak boards. So we're going to end up gluing them up. So one of the things I'd looked into is doing a four way clamp. Now, there's a number of them out there. Uh, actually, Rockler's got a nice one that they just came out with. Uh, they run, I believe they're about 120 bucks for the bigger set. And then they make a smaller set, too. And I needed uh, at, at least four of those for each glue-up that I want to use. So now we're in the $500 range to do these glue-ups. So I wanted to look to see... Um, how I could do that more economically and maybe have some more adjustability. Now there is four-way clamp systems available um, on Amazon. I picked them up. So um, th these are what these are. These are the part of the things and they come with um, they come with these little brackets, these uh, little black plastic ABS, some type of a plastic, and they come with a bunch of screws. So you've got three holes, screw holes in each one of them. Um, when you buy them, I believe you get, um, I don't quote, I don't remember the price. There'll be links in the description of everything that I've got. So I've got the, the clamps, the Unistrut, the screws, the T-nuts, all everything that goes with it, are, there's links in the description. Anyway, so you get, I believe, for two sets of clamps, you get two of each of the pieces, and then you get um, 12 of these little brackets for each one per kit. Now, I bought two kits um, because I wanted more than um, uh, be able to glue that much up there. So um, then, so what I did was with the four-way clamps set up this way, Part of those I want to do is have some adjustability. So these are longer bore, uh, uh, these are about 40 inch pieces. And with an Allen set screw here, I can adjust these back and forth and get me adjustment from, from about three foot all the way down to as, as small as I can make this, um, which is probably in the five to six inch range. Um, and still be considerably cheaper um, than buying something off the shelf and I didn't want to use wood because if you use wood, you screw into it. If you, you know, if I need to adjust this, it's not readily adjustable. Now with this, like I said, Allen set screw, I slide these back and forth to where I want them and, and, and readjust them, set up a whole new system. So, um, so we're gonna go through, I'm gonna put those together. Again, links in the description for everything and then we'll go through some quick glue ups and Go from there. All right, so we've got, um, I'm setting up four clamps. So each rail, it takes two rails for each clamp, one top, one bottom. So what I did is this is gonna be this side here. I've got pretty much flush with the outside. That'll be my stationary. I'll never, that one will get uh, fixed. From the begin with, that's where I'll have the um, turnbuckles to tighten. And then these two here, I can adjust back and forth as I see fit. All right, so I've got it set up for approximately a three foot panel. And these are about 40 inches long. You can cut these whatever length you choose to cut those. Um, I chose 40 um, just to, the way this lays out. The Unistrit comes in 10 foot 
lengths you can cut it kind of whatever you want um, so I was able to get three um, they're 10 footers so I was able to get um, three cuts out of each of the and this is the narrow unit strut um, so again this is going to have the side that's going to have the, the turnbuckle on this will be the adjustment side so one of the things I like about this is I can with the unistrut I can put these little nuts on that goes with the unistrut drop those in and then I picked up these little allen head screws and then I can go ahead and just tighten these up wherever I want them so right now I could tighten this one up here and that would probably give me somewhere in the neighborhood of a maybe a 12 to 20 inch panel here because you can drop in each one of these so um, these are when you buy these they have you put on a piece of wood um, I think that's the big difference with this with the Unistrut uh, I can use bolts I can adjust these I don't have to be doing screws in and adjusting them all the time if I get a little bit of glue on the Unistrut on the other side, I can take some sandpaper or even a, a little grinder and I can either chip off the glue or I can grind it off um, either way. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to get these finished up. Uh, one of the things I did do is I, so I just flushed these up on their end, used the square, got those set up, and then I use a square to kind of line these up. That's not quite right but that's how I you know, try to keep these somewhat in line um, I don't think you have to be like dead on for these dimensions but if you get all four of them set up you're gonna have um, your spread work a little bit easier and be able to get these pieces which is what holds the, the this goes into the two slots and then this actually is what's pressing pressing on the side of your your glue up um, so I'll get this together I'm gonna get this laid out I'm gonna lay out the bottom we'll start setting up a glue up in here a Mach 1 and then uh, put it together and see how it goes all right so one of the things I actually like about this is a way I can do my layup and um, gives me a surface to put my materials on so what I've got is I've got four of these pieces that we just built and they're turned upside down like that I'm not gluing this currently but I will um, I just want to go through kind of the layup how we're gonna do this so there is my first tread that I'm gonna do So this is approximately four feet by 33 inches. Each one of these globes is about 11 inches. Um, then if I had my glue up, I just slide these in drop them on top and then the other end I've got the adjustment piece Thank you. 
Now with it doing any work, actually these are pretty dang close to being flush, both top and bottom. If I had the glue on here, this would be done. So that is actually relatively quick. quick. Um, so I've got one, two, three stairs uh, would be glued up. Let it sit overnight. If I had another set of these, I could actually stack them right on top of this one and just make another set. So I've got three here. I've got... Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and actually do the glue up and then uh, go from there. So I've got this little uh, uh, silicone roller. Works really nice. It actually has a nice little spread and gives me even coverage across all of these without getting like glue everywhere, getting glue on me. Well, I usually do get glue on me, but um, it just makes it nice. I can do this pretty quickly. And I've got an even coat over both surfaces here. And I don't end up with a ton of extra squeeze out, but there's enough glue in there to glue it up and have it stick. All right, night over a few minutes, it's all glued up, ready to go. Um, I'll let this sit through the day or overnight and then uh, take it apart and away we go. On to the next set of them. So I just kind of want to bring you in and show you how that system works. So that is the screw side, that's what I tighten with. And then on this side is just the non-adjust. So in order to get my height, uh, width difference, I can drop in different one of these all through here and get, you know, different sizes. Like I said, this is 33 inches here. Um, I could probably get um, probably 36, 37 inches with this current layout. And I can get probably down to if I did it really close in here, um, probably do a three or four inch, maybe five inch minimum on this. And, uh, but I really like, like I said, this is nice and flat. And because it's pulling from both sides, I think you have less tendency to have either a, you know, a cup one way or another. And uh, if you get it on a flat surface, you're going to have 
flat glue ups. All right, so those worked out really well. Um, I was able to glue up three panels at a time. I just had to remember which side to glue on when I glued it up. But uh, the, the four-way clamps work really nice and like um, pushing in and squeezing down at the same time. Um, I did had to go back through and do a, some tapping to try to, uh, you know, a little bit of adjusting before I put, you know, not put the final pressure on them. But at the end of the day, I ended up with some good solid treads. Um, those were uh, one inch glue ups, um, one inch treads that we ended up with on each one of those. So I had, I think, uh, a dozen of those. So there was three different sets of glue ups that I had to do for those. So I did three per one. So, you know, it takes a little bit of time when you're starting to glue a lot of stuff up. The other thing that I've got this set up for is um, doing cribbage boards and I'm batching out um, cribbage boards and stuff like that. But what I'm doing is those I'm doing really thin glue ups. So like eighth inch and, and different thicknesses, you know, and the glue up might be only six inches um, wide for cribbage board, but they're long enough to do three cribbage boards at a time. And I can lay those up. So I can do, in glue up, I can do 10 of these at a time. Glue them all up, throw them overnight, whatever. And then I come back and then even if I do have a little bit of adjustment, um, I did some of these where I actually didn't even have the same thickness of wood um, because I was just, I'm using scraps and didn't mill it out. So I just, it gets it close. I put it through the joint and you know, face it with the joiner, get it down, put it through the, the, the planer, end up with probably seven eighth inch stock because I've got some thicker stock. And then I can send those to the CNC. So um, these things are going to be helpful for me to go ahead and start batching out large glue ups this would be great for a tabletop if you're gluing up doing a large tabletop or something like that where um, you want to try to keep it you know keep that pressure even across the whole thing they work really well um, compared to you know like a parallel clamp or some pipe clamps or something like that so anyway thanks for watching everybody i will uh we'll see you on the next one enjoy